Hello everybody, that's St Nicholas and especially all you boys and girls. Hope you have had a lovely week as I have. Um, it's been lovely to see a bit of rain. Uh, the gardens have certainly needed it. <clears throat> and I hope you're keeping safe and well and, and fairly cheerful, um, even though you still can't really see your friends very much. Um, now today is um, Sunday and I've got another story for you. Um, about a man called Peter. Now Peter was one of Jesus's disciples and um, he of course had been very very sad when Jesus died and then went to heaven in the story we heard last week and the week before but of course the story we heard last week was about how the Holy Spirit had come um, and had um, managed to fill the hearts and souls of all the disciples um, and uh, who suddenly had lots of power and this is a story of how Peter suddenly found that he had a lot of power from the Holy Spirit and from Jesus and God and this is a story um, it's called the story of Peter the healer now in the days after Pentecost the excitement in Jerusalem grew crowds came to hear the 12 disciples and to see them perform miracles in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Every day, more and more people believed that Jesus really was the Christ, the Son of God, sent to save everyone from their sins. Now, one day, Peter and his friend John were going into the temple to pray when they met a lame beggar. Please, kind sirs, can you spare me a few pennies, called the man. He had been unable to walk for many years and he had to rely on the kindness of strangers and his family so that he could buy food. Peter and John stopped and the beggar watched them, hopefully. I have no money to give you, Peter said, but I shall give you what I have. In the name of Jesus, I command you, stand up and walk. He helped the beggar to stand. At once, the poor man felt strength flow into his weak feet and ankles. He let go of Peter's hand and he started to walk. Soon he was jumping and leaping into the air, shouting, Look, look, I can walk. I can really move about. How good God is. Thank you, God. You've made me able to walk like everyone else after all these years. But I've been lame. He ran into the temple where everyone who knew him was amazed to see him walking about, praising God. Peter explained to the people in the temple that it was the power of Jesus that had made the lame man walk again. And some of the priests overheard and they were furious. They thought they'd got rid of Jesus and they actually had Peter and John arrested and kept in prison overnight. In spite of this, many of the people who saw what had happened to the lame man became followers of Jesus too. And so the Christian church was starting to grow. And Peter and his friends were all doing what Jesus had asked them to do, which was to go out into the world and tell everybody about Jesus. Now, as a, a picture here for you of the lame man, um, there he is asking Peter and um, John to give him some money and of course they haven't got any money there he is after he's um, able to walk so excited and here's a, a few other pictures I don't know if you can see these so well um, this is this is a picture of the um, of the lame man outside the, the gate in um, Jerusalem and um, and I think that's a picture of him when he can walk and this of course is a is the soldiers arresting Peter and um, John because they thought they were troublemakers and they didn't want them to stir up more trouble. Now, after um, after uh, you've heard this story, and I hope you've enjoyed it, um, you can uh, colour in a picture of the lame man and there's a word search also that if you can download, you can uh, try your hand out. And in a minute, I will show you a, a small activity you can do as well. So have fun, look after yourselves. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.